What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to be upgrading my baby Citinosaur Bakerite into a new enclosure. So right now you see that these guys are in a small 10 gallon. Right now they're basking, getting a little bit of sun or UVB and heat and just relaxing. And you see that these guys, they dirty up the glass over here, but I wanna upgrade them in here. This is where my ball python used to be, but I sold my ball python the other day. So now I wanna clean this out and put these guys in here. All right, so I already took the enclosure out and it's a little bit dusty because it was under the TV over there. So it's a little bit dusty down there on the top, but the inside, it's also a little bit dirty. It has a little bit of old dry poop and a little bit of the shed, the last shed that she had. And I just want to clean this out completely. This is what I use to clean the enclosures. This is for mites, but you could use it to clean out the enclosures. And this is just reptile safe. You could spray this on a reptile. It's intended to be used uh, on reptiles that have mites so you could clean them out as long as um the reptile isn't too young you don't spray the eyes or the mouth or anything and if it's a snake that it didn't freshly shed um you could spray it on them and they'll be fine so i use this to clean the enclosures and maybe i'll start selling that on my website as well i'm trying to start selling more reptile products i just don't know what to sell i'm selling tortoise food uh that's the first thing that i'm starting i'm probably gonna start selling some cactus soon and obviously i have my merchandise and if i have any reptiles available Right now, I only have a common snapping turtle. Uh, you can also find it on shadowsreptiles.com slash shop. And you can pretty much see everything on there. Shadowsreptiles.com, you can see my links to all my socials. You can see all everything I have for sale. You can see about the rescue. So if you guys wanna learn more about everything that I do, make sure you go check it out. All right, so anyways, here's the enclosure. The first thing that I wanna do is clean the screen right there. So we're just gonna spray some right here. And make sure it gets all over there. Just let it sit for a little bit. We gotta clean all the hides and the water bowl. I use the same thing on this. And if I need like a deeper clean, like if I just get a rescue and it's possibly sick, I use um, bleach. But obviously if you use bleach, you can't put the animal in right away. So I always like to let all the smell get out completely before I put any of the animals in. Even for this, but this isn't as strong as bleach, so. All right, now time to clean the tank. So I gotta get Sunny out of here because I'm gonna be spraying those chemicals and we don't want her breathing all those in because her cage is right there. All right, so I took out all the substrate and I wanna take that out too, but it has a crack here and that will just make it look ugly. So I'm just gonna leave it in and just clean it out. So I just sprayed this very generously around the enclosure and now I just wanna let it sit for a little bit. All right, so right now I'm spraying down the enclosure and you can see just how milky that water looks. But uh, yeah, that was just because of this part right here. Gracie, did I spray you? I'm sorry. That was just because of the back. The back was losing its color a bit. All right, now you put it in the freezer and lock it up overnight. All right, so there we go. We got a completely clean enclosure. All right, I can't open it, it's frozen, but um, gotta let it heat up and then we could start setting it up. I'm gonna put a bunch of peat moss as the substrate here. And I'm also gonna be using cypress mulch. This is just uh, for a little bit of extra humidity because this holds the humidity better than the cypress mulch. So I like to put this under the cypress mulch and it's just a thin layer of it. And then the cypress mulch goes right over it. Sometimes I mix in a little bit of dirt, but I'm not gonna put any into there. So just like that, a little bit of peat moss. Now to get these guys out of here and to take apart their enclosure. These guys are like little bullets, super fast. Let's put this one in there. Now this one. She just let me grab him. There we go, they're gonna be in there for literally like a minute. Now to put all this mulch in here. All right, now that the mulch is all in here, we'll spread it around. And I'm probably gonna get some more mulch, but I don't have any right now. So um, we're just gonna put in this little bit and I'll add some more later on. And I bought some decorations for them and the new water bowl because I've been using a plastic deli cup, which I'm not sure where I put it, but anyways, uh, I wanted to upgrade it to this. So we're gonna clean all this out and make sure it's all sanitized and then put it in the enclosure. All right, so the water bowl, I'm going to put right over here, I think. Actually, I'm going to put it over here. I wanted to put it closer so that it's easier to reach so that I could put the water in. But um, 
it has this little ledge and i don't want these guys to be able to climb there and jump out so we're gonna put that right there <clears throat> their little school i'm gonna put back here or maybe i'll put it right here actually just to make it a little bit more like a decoration their little hide i'll put like this right here And this I'm gonna put right like just like that. I think it looks pretty decent like this. I'm probably gonna get something else to put over here um, just to add a little bit more to it. I don't know if I'm gonna get some fake plants for it or not, but um I think this looks good right now. It's definitely an upgrade. And I don't really care about the appearance as much as I do the size. I just wanted to upgrade these guys because they were getting a little bit big for the 10 gallon. And it's already starting to get a little bit messy because they started destroying all the hibiscus plants and everything that I had in there. So let's put these guys in here and see if they like it. Let's let these guys out here. And hey, just trying to get back into the box. There we go. So she or he, I'm not actually sure on the genders for these guys because um, their markings already went away. But <coughs> when they're a little bit bigger, I'll sex them and we'll find out. All right, let's give them a little bit of water. Watch out. There we go. And actually, I should have done that after moving. The Whoa. She jumped all the way out. Oh, hey, hey. Okay, I got to get the cage or the top on here. As soon as possible. Did not know they could jump that high. Wow. Well, I should have figured because that back spot is climbable there, as you can see. These guys are a little bit crazy. Look at this. They're trying to just escape when I'm right here. Oh, my God. That actually scared me. My heart is racing right now. If I lose one of these guys in here, it's not going to be fun. They could go anywhere. They could go under the incubator, under the couch, and there, under the birdcage. And right now, we've been moving around a lot of stuff. Uh, because of the tropical storm that was going to come so there's a lot of mess as well so these guys hopefully i don't lose them ever and if they do manage to escape hopefully they're already at least the size as the rhino iguanas which are about a foot so that they will be a little bit easier to find um but yeah these guys are so baby that i feel like if they get out if i don't find them within a week they'll probably just die because of the ac not that it gets cold in here but look at them back there psychopaths they're still pretty cool though. All right, we got a bunch of mealworms here for these two, and they're a little bit going. They're going a little bit crazy back there, as you can see. Hopefully, they don't try to run out. But let's put these guys in here. I'm sure they're gonna go crazy for it as soon as they see them. There we go. Alright, I guess he doesn't want another one. How about you? Let's put them all in here. And a lot of these guys are going to escape into the enclosure and maybe turn into beetles and then they'll be able to eat the beetles. Although most reptiles avoid them because the beetles kind of smell bad, but they are edible. So let's let these guys be for a little bit and see if they want to eat. And I caught this guy red-handed trying to dig out of the enclosure. Look at him right there. He's... He knows he got caught. What's up, buddy? Look at that fat belly. These guys were definitely enjoying some of these mealworms. How about you, huh? Your belly isn't as fat. I don't think this one ate yet. This one looks a little bit chunky. And Ari's looking pretty chunky as well. She just finished eating. Let's see if she'll bite me right after I fed her. I don't think so. I think she knows the difference between my hand and a rat pretty good. What's up, Aru? Aru has never struck at me, only twice when I was feeding her. And she was actually striking at the rat, but she happened to get my finger by accident. But she's a really good snake. Speaking of really good, check this fatty out. What's up, girl? Oh, look at her. <laughs> you like that, Gracie? Hmm? What a fat pug. There we go. It looks like these guys are enjoying their enclosure. 
definitely an upgrade than this one. This is basically two of those uh, put together. And now it's better for me because I have the doors at the front and I don't have to be taking the lamp off every time I go to open up their enclosure. And let's see if I could open this up without freaking them out too much. Check these guys out. They're starting to grow so much and the coloration on them is getting a little bit lighter. I don't know if you guys could really tell, uh, but when I first got them, they were a lot darker. And maybe in a couple months, they're already gonna be starting to show their true colors because these guys don't stay this color forever. They actually turn like a white color. Um, I think that's like white and gray, something like that. But we'll definitely see, this is the first time that I work with these iguanas. And these are actually the only two of the species that I've ever seen in real life other than in pictures. This enclosure came out pretty nice, I think. It's definitely an upgrade compared to what they used to have. So um, I still, I think I'm going to be adding a little bit more decorations to it. Maybe up here, I feel like this area is a little bit empty, but um, I might just leave it like this. I don't know. I, I kind of like it like this. And I don't like to add fake, uh, fake plants like I do with my snakes because these guys do eat grasses as well as uh, insects. So I don't want them getting confused and eating fake plants. But yeah, today was a pretty simple video. I just had to upgrade these guys and I said, why not make a video on it? And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications and have a great day.